This is going to be messy, and it's going to be messy in, uh, in, uh, for for a long time. If you uh, if you have zero Bitcoin today. Hello everyone, today our guest is Jeff Booth. Jeff Booth is a hugely successful Canadian entrepreneur, thought leader, educator, and author who has taken a very keen interest in Bitcoin and has been an avid supporter of the digital asset. In this video, Jeff Booth talks about the current monetary system and its faults. He then explains the importance of Bitcoin and how Bitcoin could change the whole world of finance. He also dismiss all coins in favor of Bitcoin. If you enjoy this highlight videos, please kindly subscribe and help share this video for us to share more of this valuable content. Thank you. The largest cryptocurrency climbed for a third day, breaking above 30,000 US dollars. It jumped as much as 4.4% to 30,441.43 US dollars. While Bitcoin's dominance has been increasing recently, some altcoins were outperforming with Avalanche up 6.6% and Cardano gaining 8.6%. Bitcoin has been stymied in recent months as the Federal Reserve and other central banks have pivoted toward rate hiking cycles amid stubbornly high inflation. The collapse of the Terra ecosystem has also hurt sentiment in digital assets. Concerns among market watchers increased into the weekend as the record high correlation with the Nasdaq 100 to illustrating its behavior like a risk asset to tailed off as tech stocks rallied. This is the type of decorrelation nobody wanted, said Antony Trenchev, co-founder and managing partner of crypto lender Nixo. Bitcoin sideways churn over the last two weeks inside of a so-called pennant ended with prices breaking lower late last week. Bears will continue to have the upper hand unless the token reclaims 30,200 US dollars. According to the pattern 2 and any break below 28,000 US dollars could see 25,000 US dollars coming back into focus. A descending triangle pattern indicates that anything below about 25,400 US dollars could put the 2017 peak to just below 20,000 US dollars to into play. Jeff Booth in this talk speaks about the fallacies of the current monetary system and the importance of Bitcoin. Stay tuned till the end as we reveal the hottest altcoin to invest at the end of the video. So I, I think it's inevitable. Um, Mark just asked me that question. <coughs> um, if, if I, I, I try to think in probabilities um, instead of absolutes, but, I, but in after I just said it was inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> um, inevitable over time. <laughs> so if I said a probability event, I would say it's going to move to uh, uh, com uh, countries are going to try to implement their own CBDCs which is a very dangerous it's surveillance disguised as money. If you want to live in a place like China, if you trusted all of your everything to one or two people that could change their minds, think of what that would look like. That's what China's experiencing today. And I wrote about what it would look like in the book, and it's exactly playing out what, uh, what I wrote about um, in, in the book. But that's coming everywhere. Um, I suspect some of those CBDCs or others will be pegged to Bitcoin as a basket of, as one of the basket of, of currencies in the initial go around. And then what will end up happening is as more and more people are trading between themselves on Bitcoin um, all, all over the world and technology advances, if you're running an inflationary policy for your own country against Bitcoin, your currency is going to fail faster and faster and faster. And on each failure, it'll bring more and more people onto Bitcoin. This is going to be messy, and it's going to be messy in, uh, in, uh, for for a long time. If you uh, if you have zero Bitcoin today, you are taking a tremendous risk. If mm -hmm. uh, a tremendous risk. If you uh, get some, get it off an exchange, put, put it in a hard wallet. Um, and start to under, or, or, or at least learn why this is important, and then get some because uh, because it's it's that important. Nobody can stop you. The th thing with Bitcoin is you can move it anywhere in the world. If you can remember twelve words, you can go anywhere. Your house is not like that. There is no other asset that that uh, that when things change and get either new government comes in and take forcibly takes the assets back or taxism to, to, at a crazy rate, or society revolution 
takes them back by force. There is nothing else that gives you the safety, your family the safety, of something like Bitcoin. The Palm Pilot was almost the same as, as the iPhone seven years before, and nobody used it. Technology changed, and, and, and then the iPhone came out, and, and I'm sure a lot of people in this room were using a BlackBerry and said, I'm never going to give up the buttons on my BlackBerry. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's probably the most important point. We don't see these, technology, uh, these technologies impacting us until they're before us and they impact us. And so when you're measuring Bitcoin and everything that's happening today, you're measuring, you're probably looking backwards at what you think it used to do through a whole bunch of bias, instead of looking forward what it will do. And it's a pretty big, and, 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 and our world is just formed of ideas. And those ideas are moving faster and faster. And the best ideas win in the market. And then they expand on themselves. And we, can, and we all of a sudden wake up the next day, we could never see ourselves without an iPhone. When two years before that, we didn't know, know what that would look like. So it's just, it's a normal course for everybody. Uh, entrepreneurs, it's, it, it's, how, it, it's how entrepreneurs, really great entrepreneurs, actually build great businesses because they forecast the change and they forecast what is possible with that change. Um, what Elon does is he charges you, he, he looks at an exponential curve he charges you for uh, for a car two years before you you buy it, and and he, at the time he charges you, he could have never delivered it, delivered it. By the time by the time he delivers it, the technology has enabled the delivery of that. So from the system, the system is uh, the system um, can't fight Bitcoin, and so it has to fight Bitcoin through misinformation to retain its control. That misinformation can come in a lot of sources. ESG is one of those misinformation uh, things. And, and ESG um, is the system creating damage. If you believe in environmental damage, if you believe in... Then, then how is that solvable from a system that must be manipulated to grow forever against the free market? How is that solvable? And if you think about the governance structures as well in, in ESG, how is that solvable when you have theft in base money? Um, so, so all of these, uh, all of these, uh, all of these ideas come out of the existing system as a way to protect the existing system and its and its control structure. I wish I didn't have to say that. It's not a. It's uh, it's not a. Um, and I don't do that from a. I don't do that from a. There's a couple people at the top uh, dialing the dials. There might be. There might be. Uh, 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 Klaus Schwab is probably not my friend, um, but uh, um, but but it is a control structure that has to drive a narrative to maintain control, um, and that narrative is breaking down against uh, against a money that is in all of our hands. And they need to hear a whole bunch of different kinds in different ways. And the best, the best way I've found is, is questions. Right. The, the, I think that's actually why my book brought a lot of people on, on, on board because it was posed as a question, how do you solve this dilemma that, that, that technology in the free market reduces price and saves our time? We all vote to increase our time with everything we buy. And yet we have a monetary system designed the other way. And, and so, but it posed, it posed some of those as questions instead of telling somebody. If you tell somebody they're wrong, typically they harden their beliefs. And so, so I, I, I would, it, the same thing I ask all of them. It, so if, if, you're, if you believe in climate change, tell me how, how, how you suppose we solve this from a system that must grow forever. Right? And that tends to break people's mental models, and they, because then they have to explain how they're going to solve it. The altcoin market as of late could be summed up in one word, opportunity. With investors clearly growing tired of the familiar names like SHIB and Doge, investors will be looking for their next opportunity to make a fortune in the crypto market. It would appear that BitBoy, one of the crypto space's biggest influencers, is ready to crown Ryoshi as the next huge play. To say that BitBoy is bullish on Ryoshi is an understatement. He's bought himself a bag of $50,000 worth of Ryoshi token and could be poised to double down.
If his followers, which total in the hundreds of thousands, decide to ape in and follow suit, Ryoshi holders will be making bank. What do you think about Ryoshi? If you enjoy this highlight videos, please kindly subscribe and help share this video for us to share more of this valuable content. Thank you.